All right. I think I'm about ready to call this mess more or less done. Um, paint shelf up there. Obviously ladders, extension cords, and crap. Um, as you can see, uh, there's a garage door. So, shelves all the way across. And then got to jump up above the, the garage door. Um, that, this, this thing here was my project for the weekend. Um, wheelie bin, wheelie bin storage stuff that workmate and my saw horses and more camping shit. These shelves here are going to be for mostly my camping, camping and bushcrafting stuff, which is all this shit, which is what I'm going to be doing, uh, probably <laughs> until about three o'clock in the morning, organizing all that stuff, getting all that sealed up and cleaned up, ready to go. I mean, there's just like a junk box. This is going to take me fucking two hours to go through that shit. Um, this is just a uh, little general purpose dolly thing that I put together just to, to make it easier to move move big stuff around. Um, but anyway, I was actually this is something I'm going to have to do a little research on. This is that that uh, half inch uh, pink styrofoam crap. You know, it's about actually it's, it's a half inch or it's an inch. I think it's more like about, oh, I don't know. There's my thumb. It's about an inch, maybe. Um, well, what I'm worried about is putting that pink foam in there. That's two four by eight sheets. And I figure I'm gonna need a little bit less, but you know, basically it's gonna be four, four, four by eight sheets on top of that. And I'm worried that it's gonna to be too heavy for my little three quarter horsepower uh, garage door to open up. Especially given the fact that in, in, in the winter time, um, the water would freeze, you know, snow would melt and the water would freeze and would basically glue the, the bottom of the garage door down. However, um, they redid they redid the, the my driveway i had my driveway redone um this fall as you can see it's, it's, of course it's fucking raining um but anyway the deal was is before it was right it right up in here there was actually like a little hill like a little mound because that, that, this section had been replaced for some stupid reason, but about a foot and a half, two feet out, had been torn up and replaced, and they mounded stuff up so the water would come melting off the, off the soffits and stuff, and it would just melt and then refreeze. But when it melts, it would seep underneath the, uh, the garage door. And I thought maybe I should... Uh, Maybe replace the seal, but uh, it looks in good shape. There's no, I can't see any real damage to it, other than the fact that it's just letting water in. Um, so yeah, that little project right there took me way longer than I thought because it took me way longer than I thought it would because all I had to work with was uh, plywood. I'm just using up scrap lumber, you know? So all I had was, clothes already, thank you. All I had was plywood, so, you know, cutting, when you're by yourself, you know, you're cutting uh, four, four foot long sections of plywood with a circle saw. It's not that easy to do. Uh, got some molding over here I gotta get rid of. Oh, this, this, this is my signature wall uh, thing. Um, everybody who's come over and helped me work on the house, they get to sign my wall. Um, so anyway, let's see what we got in here. We got just my 
power tools and shit. And obviously toolbox and shit. Anyway, so this is this evening's project. Now that I finally got the damn garage floor all cleaned up, then uh, now I can start getting into that stupid shit. Which means I might actually be able to have my living room back, which would be totally fucking awesome. Oh, by the way, God bless and keep you and yours. Bye-bye.